by Cornell. Pass looking out in front was blocked. They battle along the end boards. Come to the near side. Bourbonnet will pinch from the point. Playing it down behind the goal line. Looking for Bourbonnet. Here's a shot. And they score. It's Grace Graham who lets it go. Able to beat Van Dyke. And Cornell will take the... Cornell will gain possession. Here's Bourbonnet. She'll flip it forward on the backhand. Kept alive by Wood at the point. Now settled down by Labby right at center ice. She'll carry into the line. Here's Shea Labby. Able to tap the brakes. She'll work it back to the left point. Wild thing. Near side Wood with a shot through traffic. And she scores. I don't believe it was deflected. There was plenty of period. Grace Graham started this one off putting Cornell up 1-0. Just 2.29 into that first period of play. But ever since, it's been Colgate. They've taken over. They're in the lead 2-1. Here's a chance. Turned aside. Another chance for Zaleski. And she scores. A nice run. Hammered right back down low by Jocks. Behind the Cornell net, Sarah Nee will advance it to Mills, who's able to clear the zone. Now finding Bierman. Loses control right along the blue line. Raiders will bring it right back the other way. Carrying in over line now is Megan Sullivan. Sullivan with a shot, and she scores. What a shot on the boards. Paige Lewis will collect on the far side. Plays it right back behind the net for Sirdar. As she's pinned up against the boards, now hits the deck. Here's a chance for Jirasi, works it back to the point. Neely with a shot, and she scores. Cornell able to narrow the gap to two. Kendra Neely steps up from the point, fires it home at the point, firing a shot as Van Dyke makes the save. Rebound pulled away by Veerman, angled back to the point for Facinato. Over to the far side, Bourbonnet into the slot. Here's a shot, and they score. Kristen O'Neill able to beat Van Dyke on the backhand, and Cornell's right back in it. It's a one-goal game. He'll go right back to Wildfang behind the goal line. Here's Lauren Wildfang. Pass forward to Corley LaRose. She'll gain the line. Here's LaRose with a shot that's blocked. Back the other way comes Pippi Jirasi, able to advance it to Paige Lewis. In of the line, drops it back for Jirasi with a shot that's blocked. Rebound, and they score. Lanka Sirdar. Larson, her and Wilson Bennett digging away at it. O'Neill trying to keep it pinned up against the boards. As Larson will finally scoop it loose, stepping up from the point as Zafudo lets it go. Directed behind the net now. Wilson Bennett will leave it for Larson. Here's Larson, back to Eldridge, and she scores. With one second left in regulation, Eldridge buries the one-timer, and Colgate takes the lead once more. All right, so we have head coach Greg Fargo, Annika Zaleski sitting in the middle, and Jesse Eldridge, who scored the game-winning goal, sitting on the end. Uh, coach will make an opening statement, then open up for questions. Uh, thanks, JJ. Um, obviously, a really uh, exciting and emotional game today. Um, you know, right from the start of the game, you know, and Cornell did a great job, came out early and, uh, and scored one to, to get us on our heels. And I thought from that point on, uh, you know, our, our team responded really well and kind of settled into to our game plan. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was a typical, well, as crazy as it was, I think it was very typical of a Colgate-Cornell game. Um, since I've been here, it seems like everyone... Uh, you know, is a is a one goal game, and um, to no surprise, it, it finishes with a second left on the clock. So, um, just an overall exciting hockey game. I think um, you know as good as it gets, and we we're fortunate to be on the right side of it tonight. Uh, Jesse, could you just tell us first what you kind of saw in the game winning goal, and what was your reaction when you saw it go in? Yeah, we went out there. We didn't have much time left, and we knew that, so it was kind of a lot of urgency. Uh, Bailey Larson made a really nice pass, and. I was lucky to find some space on the other side of the net, but I mean, give our team a lot of credit. We had they had us our, our, on our heels for the last little bit. Not mm -hmm. ideal, blowing a three goal lead, but uh, we stayed composed and got the job done at the end. And any of you can answer this one. I was just curious what you think about your matchup tomorrow. You know, playing Clarkson here in the championship game. I like it. It's a good matchup. Yeah, I mean, two strong, fast teams, and should be a great hockey game. We're excited yeah. about it. I think it's definitely a good matchup for us. You guys against you too, obviously, I would imagine you probably came here a lot when you were a little kid with your brother playing here. Uh, what's it like to score a goal in a playoff game in this bit? And, uh... Yeah, I guess it's pretty special, yeah. for sure. Um, a lot of good memories here when I was younger, and yeah, it was definitely an exciting moment. I always like playing here, so yeah, that was special to put one in tonight. 
Yeah, Coach, what, what do you think will be kind of key tomorrow? Both teams obviously played really two close games with each other this year. You actually won the game in this building. Uh, you know, what do you think it will take for whoever wins tomorrow to win that game? Yeah, I mean, it's again, like Annika said, it's going to be another great game. And mm -hmm. um, I do think we match up well against Clarkson. Um, you know, they um, they have that you know the dangerous line with Gable and Pajlova and, and, and Chiguer. But uh, you know, I, I think I like our group. I think what's what's good about our team is. You know, anybody can contribute at any time, and, and I think, um, you know, that's one of our big strengths. And, you know, we're built, you know, from the, from the goalie out, and, uh, you know, anybody can change the game at any point in the, in the game. So it's going to be great. Um, two really strong teams um, that have battled it out all year in this league, in this very tough league, and uh, I think it's only fitting that, that both of us are playing tomorrow. And maybe you'll say the any of you can answer this, but when you, when you tie for first, does it make it kind of neat when you can have kind of like a tiebreaker game tomorrow in a way? Yeah, yeah I guess it feels like that. I uh, <laughs> um, haven't thought about tomorrow's matchup a whole lot, oh, you know, to this point, but I, I think, uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun, you know, in this setting. I'm sure the crowd will be great. It'll be a great environment and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, kind of settle the, settle the tie a little bit. I'm good at any guys. Coach, can you kind of just speak to the team's composure uh, after losing a three-goal lead, but you know, just kind of the feeling on the bench when you guys called timeout or when the timeout was called. One, yeah, just one last. Um, yeah, I think like Jesse said, it wasn't ideal. We go, you know, we blow a three-goal lead, and uh, I think teams in the past have, you know, Colgate teams in the past, maybe maybe the wheels would have fallen off at that point. But um, this team's different. Um, we've got a veteran group. They've been here, you know, they've done this before, they've been around, they've played in big games. And, um, you know, we just preach the same, we've preached the same thing since day one with this group, and they haven't swayed from it. So there, I don't think there was really a doubt that we were going to score the next one, which was what mattered at that point. Eric, tough game for you, Coach. Uh, if you could just uh, talk a little bit about coming back, uh, battle back real hard to tie it up, and then... Uh suffered a tough or a tough loss right before regulation. Yeah, um, you know, first of all, congratulations to Colgate uh, coming out the way they did and uh, played hard, played a great game and, uh, and got the victory, so hats off to them. Um, yeah, tough loss for us. I mean, obviously we didn't get the start that we wanted, didn't play the way we had hoped early on, uh, but I have to say I am very, very proud of the response from our group and the way they stuck with it. Been around hockey for a long time. I uh, haven't seen very many comebacks like that one tonight. Um, fortunately for us, uh, couldn't get it done in the end. What did that show you about your team's character, though, just to be down 4 1 that late and you still be trying that hard and not just kind of going through the motions, so to speak? Or, you know? That's exactly what I, I said to them before yeah. we went into the third period. Regardless of what the score ends up being, you know, we're a team that battles all the time and competes hard all the time, and we want to have that. Uh, you want to gain respect, that's the way you, you get it, and regardless of what the final score ends up being. And we came in after the game and told them exactly that, you know, that you earned a lot of fans there today, you earned a lot of respect uh, from the people at this game, you earned a lot of respect from your teammates and your coaches, and, um, and hats off to them for working as hard as they did to try and come back even when it was, you know, only 10 minutes left in the game, we were down three, so, uh, so I'm really proud of, of that effort. And, I like to compare things to life, and I think it's the same thing in life. You know, you don't always get the victory, but you got to keep bouncing back. you got to keep you know, clawing your way through, and I was really proud of our group tonight. Well, one thing I was curious about, in the second period when they had that stretch where they got those two quick goals, or saying that was going wrong on your end of things that you noticed, or was it just that, you know, you know, they were playing well, or was it, you know? Colgate's really uh, got a lot of dangerous forwards, mm -hmm. um, and they transitioned really quickly, and we got caught. Uh, a few situations where we tried to be too aggressive yeah. um, and then had a couple turnovers with the puck uh, that really cost us as well. So, uh, so those were sort of the two areas that we were getting ourselves in trouble.